Hi folks, I actually have a goal in this video and that is to make it as short as it can possibly be. But in this video what you see here is I've set us up with four different angles all in radian measurement, radian measurement, uh, in which I would like to sketch them, but not only sketch them, let's do this. I would like to find a positive and a negative coterminal angle for each. Uh, as well as, as well as, I'd like to find the reference angles. And as a matter of fact, I'd like to do the reference angle bit of it first. So um, let's go ahead and get started in the top left corner over here. We're going to go ahead and switch over to a color that will really stand out. So let's start with this, theta 1. Theta 1, you notice here, is 2 pi thirds. You notice on all of my axes here, I went ahead and I filled in a couple of values, and that is, I filled in that 180 degree rotation we know is, is pi. Uh, pi radians, okay, it's a pi radian rotation, and two 180 degree rotations uh, would be two pi radians, or a 360 degree rotation is two pi. Uh, bring this up for, for a reason, because if I'm going to graph two pi thirds, it's like saying I have pi thirds, pi thirds, okay, which, by the way, a third of pi would be a third of 180 degrees is a 60 degree angle. It's like saying I have two 60 degree angles. Another way to look at this is we say two thirds of pi. If we were to take a whole pi rotation and split it up, into three equal size pieces. So we say one pi rotation is 180. Now I've split this up into three equal size pieces. I have two of those. So we say first of all we'd have to sketch our angle here. And our angle here is 120 degrees or we could also say two pi thirds rad, radians. We don't have to write radians but I will on that one. So now our angle here, two pi thirds radians or 120 degrees what we'd like to do is two things. One, we would like to find a coterminal angle with this, and also we'd like to find a reference angle. So the reference angle bit of it, I think, is probably the easier of the two parts that we can start with. But reference angles we're used to doing probably in degrees. Uh, but in this case, we say, okay, so the reference angle, recall that, is the angle formed by the terminal arm of our angle uh, and, and the x-axis, okay? And it's always acute and it's always positive. So in this case, we'd say if the original angle here is theta, then, then this angle here we say is typically theta prime or theta, I, I say theta party hat, it's kind of fun to say, but we say well, what would this angle be, okay? In, in degrees, there would be no doubt about it. Look, if this is a 120 degree rotation is what we started with, then this reference angle right here would be 60 degrees. But in this case, I'm saying well, how much in radians? Uh, keep in mind that we started by looking at this as terms of uh, uh, thirds of pi, okay? Two pi thirds. We say, well, if we take pi and split it up into three equal size pieces, you know, we had two of those in the original angle. It seems to me that radian is really easy to find reference angles because we could just say we have just one of those, one of those thirds of pi left over. So in this case, we'd say the reference angle, theta party hat, is equal to just that extra pi thirds left over. So what I can do is I can make you a promise. Reference angles, whatever they are, if you're doing this in radians, always have the same denominator as the original angle. Has to be. Has to be. And so that's kind of a convenience. Um, yeah. So then we said, okay, so now let's find a coterminal angle. Coterminal. Now, what does coterminal mean? Coterminal means that it lands in the same spot. Okay. So give me another angle that would rotate, I don't care how many times around, but land right there. Okay. Um, the easy way to think about this would be, well, if we're doing this in degrees, all we'd have to do is take our, like, 120 degrees, 120 degrees, and add on 360 to it. We could do plus 360, or we could do minus 360, because 360 degrees is like saying, well, you went to 120, and then you spun around one full time and landed back where you were. So in this case, we said, well, if we had sketched, say, a 480 degree angle, if I asked you how to sketch that, you'd say, well, you'd spin around one full time, 360, and then you'd actually spin an extra 120, and, and you would land in the same spot. Okay, that is a coterminal angle because it lands in the same spot as 120. We're not doing this in degrees, however, we're doing it in radians. So how in the world would I do this with radians? Um, the method is still very much the same. We'll take our original angle, except for not writing it out, you know, as degrees this time, and we'll add on a full spin. It's just that a full spin remember it's two pi radians. So what we'll do is we'll take this angle, we'll add two pi to it. Thing is though, we need a common denominator. So when we say, okay, so two pi thirds plus two pi holes, if we took the bottom and top of this times three now, we get, we get two pi thirds plus it would be six pi thirds. Now keep in mind six pi thirds, that's the same thing as two pi. We've just scaled up the top and the bottom. So now we've got six pi thirds plus two pi thirds. Uh, really what I'm asking is this then. So how many of these pi thirds things would we have? And the answer to that is simply 2 plus 6 is 8. Now think about this. If a third of pi is 60 degrees, okay, 
It's like saying we have eight 60 degree angles or you know 480 total degrees. But we'd say, okay, so if we split this up into pi thirds, you know, here's here's a third of pi up here. We say, okay, so we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those pi thirds things which is just what we had illustrated beforehand. So we say there's a positive coterminal angle. What about a negative? Well, that's easy. We say 2 pi thirds minus 2 pi. We could also say minus 6 pi thirds, which we've already got a common denominator for. 2 minus 6, that'd be negative 4 pi thirds. Negative 4 pi thirds. Okay. In other words, we went 1, 2, 3, 4 of these pi thirds things and just spun back in a counterclockwise fashion, and it landed in the same spot. So I'm going to kind of try to pick it up the rest of this video. I said I was going to try to make it short. So pi, pi 6, we have five of these pi 6 things. What do you know about pi 6? Well, I know that six of them fit into pi. So we could take pi and mentally divide it up into six equal size pieces, of which I have one, two, three, four, five of them. I could also think of this as uh, I have five 30 degree angles because pi 6 is the same thing as 30 degrees. But here's my five pi 6 angle right there. So what's the reference angle? Well, the reference angle is formed between the, the terminal arm and the x-axis. So remember what I said. It's going to have the same denominator as what we started with. Theta party hat in this case, or theta prime, is equal to that extra pi sixth, pi sixth there. We say, well, find me a coterminal angle to the original. Well, let's do this. Add 2 pi. So if I'm going to add 2 pi to this, uh, same thing as 2 pi holes, uh, we better do this. 5 pi sixth, common denominator. 5 pi sixth, this is the equal sign. Uh, 5 pi 6 plus, well, if we took the top and bottom this times 6, we'd have plus 12 pi sixths. We have a total of 17 of these pi 6 things, which would land us right back in the same spot. And the method for finding a negative coterminal angle would have been to subtract off 12 pi 6, or subtract off our 2 pi rotation, which is a full rotation. Moving right along, we say 7 pi thirds. This one's a little bit interesting, and actually, if you notice, uh, 3 goes into 7 uh, twice, okay? So this is like, so this is like 2 pi rotation and then some. Uh, so we're going to go over a full rotation here. But we say, okay, so pi thirds, pi thirds would be like, well, if I mentally split this up into three equal size pieces, and since I'm going over three pi thirds, I better split this up down here into three equal size pieces. So we say, okay, so we've got one pi third, two pi thirds, three pi thirds, four pi thirds, five pi thirds, six pi thirds, seven pi thirds. So seven pi thirds tends to land right there. We want the reference angle, okay? So here's my terminal arm. It's the angle between the terminal arm and the x-axis. So here's my reference angle, theta, party hat. We say that would just be one pi third. And to top things off, if I wanted a coterminal angle, well, pi thirds would be a really good one. Or we could say seven pi thirds. We'll just add on a two pi rotation to that, or two pi holes. Uh, that'd be the same thing as seven of these pi third things plus six more pi thirds, which is the same as two pi, so 13 pi thirds. That would be a good coterminal angle. And we'd, we'd sketch this out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 pi thirds. And last but not least, pi fourths, okay? So pi fourth, that's the same as a 45 degree angle because if we took a pi rotation, which is a straight angle, and we said fourths of that. Split it up mentally into four equal size pieces. We have 13 of these bad boys, so we better split this up down here too in the fourths because uh, we're going to keep going around. Uh, but we say, okay, so here we go. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. So here's our angle. It is 13 pi fourths. Um, we say here's our terminal arm. Uh, the reference angle then is between the terminal arm and the x-axis, so here's theta party hat, theta prime. Theta prime is just a pi fourth, okay, and that's all that is. And then we say to find a coterminal angle on this, why not for once we, 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 we subtract 2 pi, minus 2 pi holes, which is the same thing as, let's take it over here, uh, 13 pi fourths minus 8 pi fourths, which is 2 pi, a full rotation. We say we'd have 5 pi fourths left over. And looking at the original graph, we'd say 5 pi fourths, well, that'd have been 1 there, 2, 3, 4 pi fourths, which is pi, and then 5 pi fourths, which would land right where we need it to be. So just an idea of how to sketch these things, find a reference angle, and find some coterminal angles with radians.